Amen. It's the ISO guy, Sensei, the greatest known 2K in existence. And look, I'm going to be giving y'all the best animations for NBA 2K25. All builds, all archetypes, all heights included for every single build type, man. The best jump shots, 5 9 through 7 3. The best layups for him, the best dunks for him, best fades for him, the best motion styles for him, the best dribble moves, everything, okay? Y'all be sure to like the video, man. It took a lot of time to put this together. So down below, y'all let me know y'all's favorite animations and what you've had success with. Now for little builds, if for some reason you don't get a high layup, small and swing, they're pretty decent, man. Not gonna hold you. I would prefer swing over small. Now to me, probably your top layup style is probably gonna be Trey Young, man. I ain't gonna hold you. Orders are somewhat nerfed this year, but Trey Young seemed like pretty top tier. Pool is another really dope one for like being acrobatic, as you can see you know he going crazy with it so you one of them spam x guys or a uh, spam square guys you feel me westbrook definitely seems nerfed this year i ain't gonna hold you zach levine is a top tier layup Irie is another top tier layup you know it's acrobatic oh it's at 85 man it's real nice so it's like pull and Kyrie. they the real acrobatic ones that you probably want to try out you want to be a layup spammer fox is eh some people like curry you know it got a nice floater and eh. lillard is another super nice one pretty top tier need an 86 though seem like the little guys they got a better like you see that you seen that flick seem like the little guys they probably got better overall layups y'all let me know if i'm tripping Trey got nice nice square layup top tier float for 2k25 and it got decent scoops john morant's pretty uh good too man very acrobatic as you can see it's an 87 though now for 6.5 plus, LaMelo Ball is pretty good. Scoops are kind of weak, but everything else is pretty good. The hop jumper, spin, euro, flow, all that, man. Pretty decent. Booker's trash now. They uh crazy nerfed it, man. It's it's not worth using. Don't be finessed. It gets some uh fast ones. Look, like, you see how it goes slow? It's hard to activate like the faster ones. Kobe Bryant is another top tier layup. It does everything good, bro. Literally. It's an 88, man. That's a lot of investment. Butler's 84. It's still pretty good, man. Of the old, I know a lot of people picked uh Butler. It's 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 decent-ish right it's decent ish is it is this cool though it's cool harden is real nice for your euros when a euro cheese it's pretty decent everywhere else and um yeah it's only requires an 82 man ron james is top tier if you got high strength you really abuse some stuff it's an 87 some of the slow ones is kind of lame but it's still top tier man you know what you're doing now michael jordan might be the best layup and you can see it only requires an 83 i mean oop, never uh used a michael jordan you know it might be one of them ones. Look, you see that? I feel like MJ should have uh way more. Like, did they nerf it or something? What is this? Is this? They trying to be disrespectful? There got to be more animations in the Michael Jordan package. But when I used it, it seemed pretty meta like Pretty top tier, man. Levine only require an 83. It's pretty top tier too, okay? It does everything good. And it got Euros almost as good as the uh, Harden. Now look, if you get a 70-something Zion something, you shouldn't invest in. You know, uh, you see how he's like throwing it. These layups is kind of like lame all right here and stuff. But you know, if you got some strength on you, boy, you might be able to do some but if you know how to angle it right you can get some nice animations with Zeon. now probably the best bang for your buck is gonna be Giannis. i don't know if y'all gonna be able to get 80 driving layup on y'all's bigs unless you know you're trying to be creative i don't know i think this is the best it's between this and sabanis right and this is a 78 so you might be able to knock this one but if you got a super low one Zeon seemed pretty decent the spin layup is trash with uh Giannis. i mean if you like to try to spin don't pick Giannis. this one's good all around it can scoop float all that yo kick is uh, you know if you like to spam floaters hey and you only need a 79 it's good with the floaters but the other layups is kind of you know still decentish, right you don't you do not want a euro with this layup though this one's pretty decent too don't spend with this though and look this is 75 so hey look if you got like a 75 probably want to get this one firstly what i want to show y'all is michael jordan is behind starter four as y'all can see and it's only an 83 dunk and 72 vertical so you could fly from the free throw line i don't know how good it is this year let's have some looks see hold on okay that mj okay flying through flying through flying through and you you there's a method to how to cheese it right so if y'all want to make y'all's builds to somewhat get this to get that mj all you gotta do is be under 610 that's the sauce and you get it at starter four it's definitely a op dunk package show you the standing dunks all that bro all builds okay now firstly crash don't use it crash all three of them don't use it 
trash, don't use them. None of these, don't use them. Trash, trash, don't use them. Trash, don't use them. Trash, don't use them. Hey, now we got some, okay? Right here, it's that cheese, okay? Cheese going baseline. You see that? You see that dunk? Block up. You see that? Cheese, sauce. Only need a 75 and 55 vert. Take note, sauce. 360. No. Some of these dunks, bro, you could do them if you trying to have fun or all that, but we just talking to have fun and dunk the ball and score, you know? <laughs> No, no, none of these, none of these, no, none of the city dunks, contact dunks, all of them. Yes, yes, we want them. Oh, look, here is a great one right here. Bang for your buck. This is the new quick drop. Okay, maybe next 2K or the 2K after that, they're going to nerf it once they figure out. But this is the new quick drops, okay? So when you make your locks, maybe your undersized center builds, etc. this is what you need to aim for to at least get the 55 dunk to at least get this okay this is okay but it's not worth like over investing this is why you got to listen to the video because i'm giving you feedback about the dunks okay this is cool you know it's cool to have on less is more always remember that you don't gotta just put on all these dunk packages that i'm gonna show y'all like for y'all that get the higher ones you don't really gotta put on all these you know pay attention but yeah this is definitely one you need it does get some slow animation so it's like eh. cradles i'm not too sure of it got some great animations besides like a couple so it's like a, ah you know i ain't too much labbed it like that so you don't want none of these athletic one hand yes you want this okay it's a nice dunk you get good animations you need only the 75 55 or one you don't want none of these you don't want the clutch you don't want this it's just not worth it. i mean I, someone could test it i don't know man i i don't think it's worth it it looked like it could be worth it but I don't know. I ain't labbed it. It looked like it could be good, but I don't know, bro. They definitely nerfed the front clutches. They're like easier to block, man. Especially like when you're driving and someone's near you. Back scratcher, no. Windmills, no. Hawks, the only good one is straight arm time. The rest are horrible. Do not get them. Switcher rules, no. No city dunks. And you want your contact. All your contact. Even the, even want your contact right here. For your standing dunks, you're going to want to go for the two hand one. They're more safe. The one hands are okay, but you want to go for the two hands. No, two hands, two hands. Like you want to go for the two hands. Even though like they say the one hand, maybe they, they be saying it's iffy, you know? I be talking to like comp centers and stuff. They be they be saying it's iffy. I mean, it's really up to you. Lab it up. It ain't my expertise like that. Of course, you want all these contact dunks. And for the honest, this is a great dunk pack, bro. Even get it like being a bigger build, like seven foot, all that. It only says at least 6'5". So it's a great dunk package. You get a nice little Euro you get to go through. It does have some slow animation. So you only want this if you're like super big, right? Like if you're like seven foot or something. Because it does have some slow animation. It has a lot of good animation. But it has a couple slow. So it's really up to you. As you can see, it got like a standing and a, a driving dunk, you know? Jalen Brown, no. DeMar DeRozan, no. Got these uh, weak animations. Anthony Edwards, I don't know why with good dunk they don't give them like all best animations edwards got a few but some of them is like eh, you don't you don't want it it's not worth it. aaron fox no now the draymond green it got some decent standing dunk ones if you do have a low dunk like this might be something you want to invest in but like if you're like ascended and you're like 80s and all that you don't really want to best in this really but if you're on the lower tier you, you want to mess with this man kevin no on kemp one of the greatest dunkers crash animations i mean he got he got some decent ones but it's like he has some like load ups and stuff some of these dunks are for fun but you know Carl malone he was sending too much mail he ain't even a reviewing boy malik monk one of them one is an excellent dunk package man that that animation right there is weak that animation is weak also but they they are very explosive that's kind of weak too ah like it's good it's good <clears throat> i mean man if you got an 80 mess okay this is kind of soup bro I, I would put this on especially as a little build I, I, I would put this on man that if you're a big man this is gonna be like your best big man dunk i don't like that animation where he's like out i hate that animation i, I wish they would take it out the game bro pro play my ass uh, i mean like come on bro that whole been in like the first so many 2ks dog i'll, I'll be driving it give me that animation play thompson yes especially at 55 driving dunk okay maybe if you're higher tier maybe no maybe still even so let me let me see let me see yes yes these are all great dunks you even want to equip this they're, they're all immaculate 2k you're not too smart buddy i don't know what y'all be doing like y'all don't know how to really <laughs> it's like excellent for for all builds clay got excellent dunks okay no load ups and stuff man barnes no 
you know you know it got the cool but behind your back it's trash load up no julius irving no he load ups and dragging worth gordon almost came out the damn rim load ups and slow animations it's not a burden no too many load up animations probably the best dunk pack a 84 dunk and a 64 vert look dunk you just flop okay you only got to be at least six five right at least six five so as seven footers if you got driving dunk you can fly bro look at these dunks bro it used to be decent but they got more load ups on it not worth trash no no but he got load ups i don't know why the best dunkers in the league don't have just crazy dunks flawless animations doesn't make sense to me Dipping. it usually is a good one but they kind of have some load ups on it so i would say no to this man i'm not gonna hold you i would say no to this dish like it, it seemed decent ish but it got some load ups that you no know, in this parachute era <laughs> Gotta be well, real wary of, man. Ben Simmons. I think I think I like the Ben Simmons, bro. It do got some slow animations. It has a lot of good standard. It does have some slow. This is a mid-ish. It's a, uh, maybe not. It got a lot of good ones and some bad ones. I don't know. Probably not. Hey, here's another OP dunk. Cat. I don't know why they gave the Fufu boy these crazy dunks. But yeah, you go off from way far, okay? No, no, got too many trash load up animation. Russell Westbrook, yes. These animations, man, he's just flying. He's flying. You know, they did Russ good. He only had that one bad animation. Y'all seen that? It's just explosive chaos. It's beautiful, man. Dunker, in in game dunker. A history, man. Top three point guard ever. Undebatable. You say not top three, you don't know hoops. Okay. 100%. No. Too many slow animation. No. Too many slow animation. Hell no. Too many slow animation. Wait, hold on. Trash. For the low rated, this is the 55 threshold. Oh, no, that's the standard though. Now, if you're on these lower tiers, go ahead. Rock with this. You can put this on, okay? It, it got some. Yeah. This is definitely worth putting on, especially when you at the lower tiers. Higher tiers, maybe not so. But when you're on the lower tiers, what I mean with that is your dunk rating. This is definitely one that you want to put on. No. Uh, I'd say no, bro. To be honest, just for big man builds, shadowness. The ones that I recognize. Nah, the white, like, I don't, I don't like that anime. Great for, like, budget value. If you do have, like, a 50 driving dunk, this is great to put on. This is something you want to put on. Decent. But if you higher tier, really mess with it. Hell no, he throwing it behind his back. Clyde Drexler used to be the one back in 2K15. You know, it does have that explosive one right there. But you see that super when he go up slow and all that. You know, we don't want that one right there. That Look, that right there is horrible. No. It's, no. no. Devin Booker, it got the quick drops off one, right? But it has two animations that I don't really like. So it's up to you, right? That one right there. And where's the other one? Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Show the other one. No, not that one. And right here. So Devin Booker could be in your bag. You got an 80, you know, test it out. See if them uh off two dunks, if they slow you down, man. Oops, just put on all alley oops. All alley oops, just put them all on, bro. All of them. If someone's throwing an alley oop, he trying to get fancy in it. You feel me? Throw on all alley oops, get freaky with it, especially the contact. So if you want me to like personalize, help you, join my Discord, DM me. Link is in the description. Personal dunks. DM me, join the Discord. You, man, I'll help you out. This one most people is rocking. It's the fastest speed boost. It has an L cross launch, and you only need an 85 speed with ball. But if you're a little guard, we're gonna get into the uh, bigger builds after this this is the one you want to be rocking now westbrook another top one you only need an 87 and you can speed boost almost as good as garland but you kind of have different angles it kind of has a better cross launch a little but not nothing too much you know now look another one that's not in here is De'Aaron fox when that hole come out it has a crazy cross launch but you can't speed boost as good so yeah y'all might want to be on the lookout for that trey young is also an, another top tier one it's up there with uh garland and west 
Westbrook. I would say Westbrook's better. It's good for speed boosting, but the cross launch is horrible. You get certain particular angles with it. Now for signature size up, I think Poole is the best. I know everyone's rocking Trey Young. Maybe it is the best, but the top three is Poole, Trey Young, and Derrick Rose. I think you get less of a pause with Poole. I don't know if I'm tripping. Y'all can lab it up too. Most people's using Young, but I think you get less of a pause with Young, uh, with Poole, bro. I don't know. Now look, there's a lot of pretty decent regular combos. Guys, if you are lost for six, just put Curry on anything. They are double twisting Curry. They're on their knees for him. Bad. Now, my favorite personally is Isaiah Thomas. You see how he going crazy. Derrick Rose is a nice one. White's a nice one. You could burst out this right here. That reminds me of that 19. Garland, a nice one. Now, for your aggressive, my favorite one is Ja Moran. Bull got a nice one. You know, you're going crazy with this. Booker's a stage cheese. It's pretty good. You know, it's how you can just split defenders, doubling you like between screens and stuff. Thomas is cool. Yeah. Now your escape moves. Curry's the best one. You don't want to use Curry. I'm the Fox when it come out. Uh, Kyrie's pretty decent. <laughs> You know, Fox is cool. Kyrie's cool. But Curry's the best, yo. Now, my favorite combo move is Zach Levine. John Morant's right after. They're damn near the same thing. It's like the uh, Harden from last year. It's kind of like the go-to shot, kind of. Like John Morant go-to shot. But, you know, these are the two. Curry's another nice one. You know, he's kind of, you know, but you don't really need this because of, um, you got so many normal crosses. Now look, the best crossover this is out there, man. I ain't want to tell you. It's Chris Paul, man, for the little builds. Then uh, once you get starter four, it's another crossover that's even better. And it's the John Wall cheese, basically. Lillard's another good one, but Chris Paul for now. Zach Levine's kind of one that you don't really get ripped with. So like if you're a bigger build, you know you could do that one too. But I'm rocking Chris Paul. Now the best behind the back is Trey Young. I like it more than Garland. Garland, you kind of go up. Um, seems like that's more rippable. But uh top behind the backs garland young but I, I say young better young let's go to garland garland does have like a kind of better moving than trey but i think young is better now normal's also another good one the super big uh builds that are seven three get this with 40 ball handle it's kind of crazy but yeah now my favorite spin is garland trey young's another nice one so is the terry a or roser and so is steve nash those is like your top four. Now, my favorite uh, hesitation is Tyrese. Okay, there's some cheese I'm going to be showing y'all. Another metal one is the Kobe White. That's how you do like some crazy spam stuff. I already showed y'all that in my other video. That's a dribble tutorial. I'm going to be linking the uh, other dribble tutorials down below if you want to check those out. But another good hesitation would be Chris Paul. Garland's decent too, but overall, you know, I'll be messing with Tyrese. Now, for your step backs, bro, Zach Levine's the best. It's the new LeBron. Now, to do the stuff that the stage guys be doing, the uh, meta snatch and like oppo misdirection, it is Tyrese, by the way. I don't, you know, that's cool. It's cute. You know, maybe if you got a certain team, but this is just the best, man. You get hella space off it. Another good one is Luca. When you go to the side, um, you get something that Zach Levine's not really like. But uh, the step back's a little slower than Levine, but it's still cool. Uh, Devin Booker's another good snatch back. Now, for your go-to shots, man, John Morant. That's your best one. Curry's another good one. Okay. You see? You go crazy with it. <laughs> okay. It's for the little ones. Now, for your hop jumper, Jordan Clarkson is, you know, the best one so far. You get a nice uh, speed glitch out of it. Kyle Laurie is another one for little builds. I'm going to show y'all a speed glitch out of that that you probably ain't seen. Well, no one's seen. I don't think no one knows about it, to be honest. We're going to call this the uh, Swan Kyle speed glitch. Okay. I'm a, I'm, matter of fact, I'm going to show y'all that move first. But yeah, for the little builds, Laurie and Clarkson, normal too. You can speed glitch out of like anything. Oh, you could do the speed glitch out of the Clarkson too. I'm going to have to show you. So yeah, this would be like my final move set for my guard. But for this, we're, what I'm about to show y'all, hey, make sure y'all subscribe, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Look, the best dribble style for 6'5 plus builds. I would say this is number one because you can do a cheesy left right spam that I showed in my past dribble tutorials. And if you can't get this or don't want to, this one's almost just as good. Yes, this would be the second best dribble style if you wanna do that left right cheese, okay? That real nice boost you just Now if you don't wanna do that, then these two wouldn't be at the top, but Xeon still would be. Zeon's probably like top two, three, no matter what, but it has the left, right cheese. So, it, you know, it's super high. Then other than that, then you got the Devin Booker, 
and the Jalen Green. I'll put Booker over the Green, but uh, yeah. so it's like Booker cool, but you can't do this. You can't do the left right cheese, bro. Like you can, but you get weird angles. It's not just straight compy angles. So you know it's up to you. But those are your four. Your best six size up would be Cade. Levine's cool too. It's another top one. They're basically on the same level. Drew Holiday's good. Ben Simmons is good. Those are good. Look, you know, got some slow ones in there. Ben Simmons is cool. Kawhi is another top one. I would put it on the same level as like, uh, I would say Cade and Levine are the best. Uh, I only like Kobe, bro. I ain't gonna hold. KD's okay. Uh, they're pretty trash on this. Now, your aggressive could be that split, you know, but hey. So that's a pretty good one. Probably my favorite ones would be Tatum's and then KD's. See, you move around a little bit. Rance is cool too. Now for your escapes, Kobe's the best. This is the one you're gonna use, man. It's just above all else. Do that Kobe uh walk back. And then I guess Jimmy would be the second one. They kind of nerfed it. But yeah, these are the two ones you're gonna be wanting to stick with. You're more stuck in your animation more with Butler. Now the best combo move is Levine, okay? Now your best crossovers to me, I would say Levine and then Booker. Levine, you kind of get a weird angle and you don't get ripped. And it kind of puts you behind them all the time. You know how to cheese it. So I'd say Levine number one and then Booker. You get an angle with Booker too. So yeah, I would say that's number two. Now, the best behind the back to me is Paul George. Most people you know are probably walk rocking Kawhi. That's another top one. Levine kind of decent, but um, Paul George is the best. And then Kawhi. Okay, two great spins. I'd say Kobe Bryant and then Steve Nash. Now, the best hesitation to me is Tyrese. All because it's instant L2 cancel. You know, Jimmy Butler, decent. You know, KD. But I, I just think this is the best one. Now, the best step back is Zach Levine. Then you could say Luca and Booker. This is my favorite go-to shot. Y'all let me know y'all's favorite go-to shot. Here's my favorite hop jumper. And you can use normal too. That's the speed glitch. For you to spam speed glitch. Here's everything all together. Y'all be sure to follow me on Twitch, man. Lord Baby Hawk. The super big builds. I would say these are the best six for you overall. Basically, just pick normal for everything. When you make them crazy big builds, and you glitch it, my boy. You could damn near move and look like a guard. It's crazy. For the little guard. Pro dribble pull up, okay? Most people are using pro instead of pro two, at least with the meta, right? Now you get good fades going right or left. It don't even matter your hand, right? You know, nice fade right there. Nice fade right there. Those are the two fades, man. You know? of them fades second fade i want to show y'all is pro tools personally what i'm using and what i like the most get a good fade going both ways front fade all that's good you see that damn front fade ah. Ah. you feel me now the next fade I want to show y'all for little builds. I put Pro and Pro 2 above. These ones I'm about to show y'all now. Cameron Thomas. Between this and Trey Young, these would be secondary. And you get a good fade to both, okay? You feel me? Look. That's that way. Kind of go back a little. You feel me? You know? Kind of kind of a little draggy. It's cool, though. It's cool, though. It's a nice little motion. Now we're going to show you Trey Young. Now, this is really only good to your strong side. It's, it's not like the other ones I was showing you. you know, I don't know. I don't really like it like that. The hands are kind of hard to see. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't like Trey Young like that. It's not as motion-y. It's more like stand up. It's not as fade away, -y, but it's still it's still still nice. I already showed you Pro and Pro 2, right? Those are still immaculate in top tier for 6.5 through 6.9, like the highest tier at the tippity top. I'm going to show y'all a third one, and that would be normal too. Very good, and you can speed glitch out of this. You watch my dribble video. Actually, that's a hot. Normal 2. You know, nice, get up big. Nice little fade. I don't even got a jump shot on. Let me. Normal two. You feel me? Nice and fast. I like it. You get a little jumpy. Get to get higher up on the wrong side. Now look, probably the best one for 
six fives is gonna be Kobe Bryant, but uh, we don't have. It. I don't know if it's behind starter four. I didn't hear no one unlocking the animation. It might be higher, but Kobe Bryant is probably gonna be top tier for uh, six fives if you don't want to use the pros. So Kobe Bryant's on the same level as the pros and the normal two. Those is all in the, I'd probably still use pro two. Now another great one, this is like a tier below. These next two ones I'm gonna tell you, Kevin Durant, okay? You could do both sides, okay? You know? Oh, damn. That's hella uncontestable. You know? The KD cool, strong side. Do a fade like that. You cannot be contested, my boy. But then the lame one, you know, you don't, you don't, you know, it's more normal. It's not as good. But this one, you really cocking that whole back. Now, the next one I want to show you, the last one, Clay Thompson, okay? You fade both sides with this. It's not as, you know, motiony, kind of more stand up. So, I mean, eh. You know, maybe it helps you see it more, but you're not fading as much. But you're more up, more stand up. This is cool. But you're more up, more stand up. This is cool. But KD and Clay is tiers below the three I showed y'all before, right? Now for the 610 plus, we already done showed them to you, my boy. It's normal two and KD, okay? 610 plus, y'all need to be doing normal two and KD. There's no requirements for normal two, right? And you need an 87 for Kevin Durant. Now me personally, this is my favorite jump shot for the little builds, right? I like it more than Cam Thomas, I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping, y'all let me know. But this is my favorite jumper so far for the little build. Seem like it's easy to time, it got a great green window. Look, see, got that nice flick. You know, it's just right there. It's right there. You know, it seemed easy, though. Here's another alternate reality version, a faster version. You into that. You know, 2K Lab dropped a bid saying, you know, you tick down your speed. Could be better. Well, they did say normal and then max, you know. Eh. Here's another top tier 6.5 plus jump shot. Even for locks, whatever the hell you got. Look, only need an 83, though. 83. And I'm sure even without these leases, you might be able to get it lower. I'm not too sure on that. But it's got a stupid high green window, right? It's the faster version. Got the high release speed, shoot over people. Hella easy, look. Hella easy to see. Like, stupid easy. Here's a slower alternate reality. Now look, this is a normal release speed, right? But look, you still got the A+. plus. Now, 2K Lab, they said the normal is a bigger make percent overall. Now, you got two versions, right? So, I mean, you could try this. By the way, guys, pro tip, if you aren't too good, slow down your jump shot speed. That'll make it easier for you to shoot, okay? Now, Scotty's a nice uh, jump shot. You could tick it down. Crazy. Even for y'all little builds, like, y'all are struggling to shoot, try to have. You know, try it out, bro. Everything's open anyway. You got to hit your shot. Now, Jarrett Culver is the truth. It is the best jump shot for taller ISO builds, hoppers, all that, man. Someone struggling, give them this jump shot. It is the base. Well, actually, it's the alternate reality team. T-Mac not in the game yet. So yeah, struggling. Rock this jump. This Scotty, super elite. Even the uh the J Tay Tyson guy. Those are all the elite ones for 6'5 plus. Not gonna get no better than that. Here's another alternate reality, you know, with less release height. You know, the Tyson. You know, this is one of the goaded jump shots. Very easy to time. Look for the super big guy. Okay. This is your bread and butter. That and the other one I showed y'all at the beginning of the video. These are the jump shots you want to use as a 6'10 plus. Okay. Got that. Already 6'10. Plus the crazy release height you're him. you're him now look if your goofy self went and made a super low midi or three point put on the andre drummond man y'all be like guys are crazy guys don't make builds with a super low midi or three point this is a new world a new era there's no point to make an inside unless you know how to cheese in the paint every play bro and make the score if not you're clogging up the paint especially if you play with rent you're tripping but yeah this is for you guys andre drummond cam thomas this and Kyrie, i think are the best for little guards god damn don't oh, take your screenshot young toots out there doing god's work he also made a defensive one hey god's work young toots at it again he say if, if it ain't on the list he ain't tested it yet i'm gonna show y'all that too young 2k toots okay thing is with this i would just go to my dribble videos and i break down the best dribble styles overall don't be picking no damn luca and you know that you got the sprint speed with the dribble style I mean, if y'all want to be creative, I don't think there's too much to, you know, help you be Hemothy. I mean, Trey Young is a metal one. 
And Russell's a meta one. Jalen Green, pretty meta. Kyrie. Harlan's over here. But these is like one set, you know? It's not even a full second. Launch plus sprint. Why does Luka have faster ones? That's kind of weird. Look, look, looking like they double twisting, my boy. Normal launch speed. Good information, man. 2K Toots putting out there. For but me. hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan. Everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.